Thank you for tuning into our video. Today, I am excited to share our research from the latest publication in Allergy. We've uncovered a fascinating link between neonatal skin dysbiosis, basically an imbalance in the skin's microbial community, and the onset of infantile atopic dermatitis. Our findings support several previous reports early skin care intervention could be a game changer. Atopic dermatitis, a form of chronic allergic skin inflammation, disrupts the skin barrier, and it is all too common in developed countries. This isn't just about itching skin. Children with atopic dermatitis are more likely to develop food allergies, asthma, and allergic rhinitis. Understanding how our skin conditions contribute to atopic dermatitis and finding preventive strategies are very important. Our study based on two key questions. First, how do specific microbes on infant skin and their timing influence atopic dermatitis? And second, can early skin care not only improve skin condition associated with atopic dermatitis but also prevent its development? To address these questions, we performed a longitudinal study of Japanese infants, providing consistent skin care from birth through their first year. This unique approach allowed us to observe how their skin microbiome evolved and its relationship to atopic dermatitis. One of our striking observations was the early signs of skin dysbiosis, visible as soon as the third day of life in infants who developed atopic dermatitis by age one. This imbalance involved in an increased Streptococcus bacteria and decreased in QG bacterium acne. Interestingly, we found that regular use of moisturizer could help balance their skin microbiome indicating the potential of simple skin care routine to foster healthier skin. Our research highlights on the intricate interplay between the skin microbiome and the risk of developing atopic dermatitis, offering an early prevention method through skin care. It may open a promising window not only for preventing atopic dermatitis, but also potentially related allergic conditions. Thank you for watching.